you might know some nurses and you might know that most nurses are very kind, compassionate people, but they're also very down to earth and very willing to say and do what people need. My grandmother's a nurse, my grandfather's a nurse, my aunt's a nurse, my cousin's a nurse. It really runs in the family. I credit my being here a lot to my husband, Cody, as well. He was a big force in my decision to come. It's really wonderful to be able to be there for a mother in their greatest time of need, for example. And the ICU is the place where if you have actual or impending organ failure, that's where you go. And so it's the highest acuity, highest need. And I wanted to be there in that time of distress and chaos to help ground families, to help care for their children during that highest level of acuity. The population I'm interested in is sexual and gender minority youth. This population is at a particular disadvantage in a number of ways, socioculturally, in terms of their pain management. And I would like to develop some techniques and strategies to help them manage their pain by first asking them what we're missing and getting right from the source what individuals are experiencing on the ground. I host the first and only podcast on clinical research methodology and nursing science, which includes nursing theory and nursing research methods. And I really like the idea of being able to bring nursing into the public eye because we're kind of hidden a lot of the time. And it's just something I've become very passionate about.